It was a powerful blast, uh, and a number of buildings were set ablaze. Uh, parts of some of those buildings collapsed. A lot of rubble was created, and rescuers searched among that rubble to find survivors. So it's quite clear that a lot of those injuries will have been hor horrific. It took place close to a, a mosque where uh, Shiites were just uh, coming out of evening prayers. Uh, and, and this, anyway, was a very busy time of the evening. Men, women and children were all uh, casualties of this. This will be deeply worrying for the government because there's been a considerable rise in, in sectarian violence. The targeted killings of uh, Shia Muslims, they make up around 20 percent of Pakistan's uh, overall population of 180 million, particularly in recent times in the city, the southwestern city of Quetta, a total of nearly 200 people killed there in just the first two months of this year. Now, last year, Human Rights Watch, for example, has calculated that over 400 Shiites were killed in uh, targeted uh, attacks. So this is just within two months in one place, nearly 200, and now this on top of it. So it all reinforces this worrying trend of sectarian violence along all the other problems, challenges facing uh, Pakistan and is very much a challenge, of course, for the government to test of its capacity to protect Shiites, to, uh, to rein in this kind of sectarian violence as parliament will shortly be dissolved and Pakistan will head towards elections.